when I look back at where this company has gone and where it's going right now, it's absolutely done 100% by our people and the sacrifices that they make in the field every day, uh, you know, are just amazing. Uh, it, it really boils back to their pride in what they're doing and, and they don't get thanked enough for everything they do, the holidays that get skipped, the wives that are traveling with them on the field. It doesn't go unnoticed. It's absolutely noticed. And, you know, there's no way on the earth for us to say thank you enough uh, for everything you do. Three things you have to have on a job. Parts, pieces, and people. Without them, I don't care how good you are, you can't get a job done. We do what most people can't do. Put a lot on the ground in a short amount of time, and we don't ever back down from a task. We're not a construction company. We're a value-added customer service company. We have a team of people that are so prideful, they just do not lose. Outstanding workmanship. Unprecedented commitment to the customer. Quality people. People that care. People that will bleed. People that don't leave at 5 o'clock. People that don't get in at 7 a.m. People that are going to do whatever it takes to get the job done. Come hell or high water. There's a drive. There's a drive to succeed. No one's trying to be second best. Everyone wants to be the best guy out there. We are just self-starters. We see something that needs doing, we go do it. We don't wait around to be asked to do it, we just do it. These guys are gladiators. They're all tenacious, constantly in the pursuit of doing things better. You can tell it's a Primus building because the attention to detail, every caulk joint and curb is flat and the miscellaneous steel is painted perfectly and our competition doesn't take that pride and ownership in the quality and details. We're not out here to cut corners. We're here to do the job right, no matter what the cost. I build buildings. I've been building buildings since I was born. My grandpa was a builder, my uncle, my grandpa, my dad. I worked for my grandpa. I built. I told my dad when I was a kid, I'm going to be a carpenter. He said, no, you're not. Yeah, I am. <laughs> Still, he finally accepted it about 30 years ago. This is a process that's hundreds of years old, right? I mean, thousands of years old. People have been building buildings, you know, forever. But it's trying to figure out a better way to do it. Primus's reputation is one of leadership. We're competing against other qualified quality businesses, but I believe our biggest difference is, is how we deliver the project and it's with our people. Without them doing a fantastic job and providing the customer experience, we wouldn't be who we are today. People can control their own destiny when they have clear goals on what we're trying to deliver for our client. And that resonates all the way through to how we interact with our subs, our vendors, our owners. It's very clear that people own their job and they're not building a Primus building for Primus. They're building it for, for Kroger, for U.S. Cold, for Lineage. The list goes on and on and on. Primus trusts their employees. They give their employees a lot of responsibility and expect them to deliver on that responsibility. We have superintendents that have been doing this for longer than I've been alive. And to be able to have new people work with them in a new way, but still leverage all of that. It's not doing things in a different way and reinventing the wheel. We're leveraging all of this tried and true practice, but we're using all of the latest tools today to do it in a little bit different fashion. Technology helps us in so many ways. Clash detection, Revit, BIM technology, all of these things allow you to build the building in your office, and then in the field, things go so much better. So technology is just not a nicety. It's absolutely essential to our success. There are not a whole lot of companies that do what we do that have embraced the technology. We're able to incorporate these elements at a high level that brings value to the clients. Trade associations are understanding that what we're doing is a little bit different and a little bit better than what our competition does. You know, we're on the cutting edge. 
and we are right up there with the best engineering firms in the country. We're a knowledge-based company, and we have to continue to invest in our people. We have an environment here where we embrace people that want to push the envelope and want to teach themselves. You know, the sky's the limit. Just grab it and, and see where it's going to take you. For anybody who really wants to get into a design and make a difference, I think this is the approach to go. We're going to expect a lot. We're going to want you to work hard, but we are going to build you up. We are going to train you. We have the resources to really take the right attitude and turn it into an outstanding young construction professional. Having the young people in the company means the company has a future. We let you develop at your speed. Uh, we're going to throw a lot at you. Uh, we expect a lot in, in return. And if you can deliver, you can develop very quickly here at Primus. The achievements you get on a daily basis are incredible. You know, you hang that first stick of steel in the air and you drive down in the sunset and you've accomplished something today. It's tangible and you can look at it. It is nice to walk away from one when it's all done and it looks good. Uh, and you get to walk away and go, there's another building, let's go build another one. I get to see what I design and put on paper actually built. I like the idea that I'm leaving something behind that's going to be there for a really long time. It takes a lot of work and a lot of commitment and a lot of dedication by a lot of people to make that happen. Tough. And that's not just the guys out here in the field, that's the guys at the office. They bust their ass every day. It takes a certain kind of individual to work for Primes. You've got to be tough and ready to work.